how's it going guys welcome back to the channel as you guys see this is not gonna be a boating video we are at the airport right now miami international airport we're about to do our 2023 europe trip you excited baby super excited it's gonna be her first time going to europe i've been to europe only once a very long time ago for a couple of days so i don't really count it it's gonna be actually the first time that i go to a bunch of other countries but i'm gonna bring you guys along this whole trip i got the kids with me on the ipads hopefully they don't run out of battery <laughs> but we're gonna grab something to eat real quick because we got a overnight flight we're gonna be taking off here at nine o'clock and we're gonna be landing in london first so i'm gonna be doing these videos in parts uh, I'm gonna go to three different countries London, Netherlands, and we're gonna finish in Spain. So I'm gonna bring you guys along and here we go. Alright, guys, starting to get dark. It's almost our boarding time and we're here feeding the kids some pizza. Mm. We're here waiting for our flight. Mm, can't wait to get on that plane and sleep or shit my pants. For nine hours. <laughs> I don't know why she's acting because she was scared as hell. She's like, you know what it is? Eight hours over water? Oh she even bought herself sleeping pills. I did. Guys. So let's see what happens. But I know I'm not going to sleep much. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to edit some videos, something that gets me sleepy. But knowing yeah, myself. I have a lot of videos to edit. Yeah. But knowing myself, I probably won't be able to. But I'm going to try. <laughs> let's see what happens. I'm just waiting for the next 40 minutes or so, 30 minutes, we start boarding the plane. And can't wait. Let's get it. Wow. These guys in first class got it real nice. One day, baby. Yeah, well, we can come with kids. <laughs> Alright guys, we're here on the plane. I'm gonna watch a movie. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get some sleep. I'm gonna try. Here we go. Alright, guys, this is the dinner that they served on the flight. I'm gonna see if I eat something, finish watching this movie so I can try to get some sleep. The next day. Alright guys, as you've seen, the sun has come up and we're about to land. And I couldn't get not even a minute of sleep. I tried, but I couldn't. So, for 24 hours. Alrighty guys, I'm here in Heathrow. We're waiting for our bag to come out to then catch an Uber to the hotel. Nice, nice airport, very big. So we're just here waiting for our Uber to pull up to take us to the hotel. Check out the lobby guys. Nice. These are our rooms. They interconnect. It's nice. Got a nice view of London. Wow, look at that. We can see from our room. Look at that. Look at the shower. All right, guys, we're walking here in London. Gonna grab our first bite to eat. We're here in the Soho area. We're gonna stop here at Nando's. I've heard many good things about this. The reviews are good, and a couple of my friends that have come here to London have told me this place is good, so this is gonna be our first stop. It's only about maybe three, four blocks away from our hotel. So as soon as they call us in, we'll get going. All right, guys, we're here crossing the Waterloo Bridge. Look at Big Ben right there. Not for nothing. 
nothing but the city is beautiful honestly i'm in love just a couple of hours have we been here yeah the architecture it's one of the oldest cities in the world I feel like that wa I feel like I feel like that water is not that deep. Alrighty guys, we're here at the London Eye. Can't come to London without doing the Ferris wheel. Thank you guys. Get to the top. This is officially the highest point right here. There's only one thing higher than us, which is <laughs> See everything from over here. So the kids from the eye saw the carousel, so you know they wanted to ride it. And we're on vacation, so why not? All right, guys, so the kids, their batteries ended up running dry. They're in the room back over there, straight ahead. And I came right across the street to Tesco Express, which is a like a mini comado in Spanish or a grocery store. So I'm going to get milk for the kids, water, and stuff like that to have in the room. So here we go. I was like, damn, only $1.75, but I forgot that's in pounds, so it ends up being like almost $2 and something, which is about what we pay for. I paid three bucks, so I think actually milk might be cheaper here, but they got everything here that you'll find in a regular grocery store, just smaller and compact, but they got everything you have in the States here. All righty, guys, look what they used to clean the streets. Little, little carts but i think i'm gonna call it a night already today because i didn't sleep um at all on the plane so i'm running on like 48 hours of no sleep got the milk got the stuff so i'm gonna walk into the hotel and i think i'm gonna call it a night guys i'm gonna catch you guys up tomorrow tomorrow we got a private tour that's gonna take us in a black taxi all over london so catch you guys tomorrow so we got a little hungry and we ordered Uber Eats, which works just like America here. There it is. Good old McDonald's. Take the American out of America, but not the American out of it. Whatever. Good morning, guys. This is day two here in London. Nice little gloomy morning, like every day here in London. Got the double... The double-decker buses already doing their runs. This reminds me a lot, guys, like New York, but a lot older, of course, like the original New York. You know, lots of people walking in the streets, bikes, buses, great public transportation. And basically the family right now, they're still sleeping, all of them. They're a little bit jet-lagged, but I'm going to be... Uh, taking a little walk in the morning so when I can't sleep instead of tossing and turning in bed I would come out go for a little walk scout some places out where we're gonna eat breakfast and stuff and yeah but I'm out here guys 15 minutes later uh -huh. alright guys so the family is finally up finally oh god jet lag yes we're right on time so the key is to not go to sleep as soon as you get here you're gonna be tired as hell if you take a red eye, but you can't go to sleep. If you go to sleep, then you're gonna be on Miami time. Right now it's like three o'clock in the morning back home. And we're already awake here that the next day. For you or for these next time, man, this sorry to get cut off, but this church is beautiful. Alright, so we came to this nice little bakery right here. This guy's is our rooftop um, breakfast.
Thank you. Alrighty guys, here's the view from our rooftop bar at our hotel. Oh look, you can actually see Big Ben from here. They have these little cubes here. Which you could unzip. You come into it. Oh man, it's nice and warm in here. This is so cool. Definitely gotta take some pictures here. All right, guys, so this is our private taxi for the day. <laughs> We're here with Craig, you said, right? Yes, uh, Craig. yes. Uh, nice. Craig's going to be our, our, our driver for today. Yes, indeed. <laughs> here we go. Uh, Laura, have you guys ever been to London before? No, this is our first time, actually. Fantastic. First time. Oh. We're, from, we're from Miami. Oh, lovely. OK, so, so we're going to take in places like St. Paul's Cathedral, um, Tower of London, Buckingham Palace. Yes. Um, Westminster Abbey, the House of Parliament, Big Ben, we'll see the London Eye and all stuff like that. I'll talk about other stuff on the way around when we get to the points of interest. We'll get out of taxi sometimes. Um, sometimes we might go for a walk because parking restrictions, we can't park, etc. Okay. Um, if there's something that I don't point out, you see a building or something, just ask the question. If I know the answer, I'll give you the answer. Mm -hmm. If I don't know the answer, you guys have never been there. <laughs> I'll just make I'll it, it up. Out, right? <laughs> so, any other questions? Anything no? in particular you'd like to see? No. No? no okay. Just, we'll I, the tour, I think, covers everything we want to see. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Any film? Thatch roofs, and so we've got lots of examples of all these sort of side turnings. Look at that clock. And this is the the main church within the city of London. St Paul is the patron saint of the city of London. And as we go around um, on the street signs and stuff like that, you will see a shield, which is uh, the white shield with the cross of St George on the shield. Come on. This is a really famous church here, Bobby. Beautiful. This is a really famous church here. Cool. Using it, there is chat that when um, he is crowned, or when the pair of them are crowned, um, they will be using Buckingham Palace, which will, it's funny, the amount of times I've been asked the question, are they real soldiers? Of course. You right? know, people <laughs> think that they're just props. No. And I'll say, I'll say absolutely not. If you go any near, near any of them, you'll, you'll soon find out that that gun's loaded. Yeah. No, just like I hate seeing people like try to mess with them. Oh, done. Oh my God, that pisses that pisses me off so so much. Oh man, there's a video of a of a guy punching him, knocking him out. If the Union flag is flying, it means the monarch is not in residence. If that's the British, sorry. Right now is the British flag. Yeah, the, the Union flag is the. Well, a lot of people refer to it as the Union Jack. Uh huh. Uh, if that's your name is the Union flag. A Union Jack is only flown on boats. Okay. Um. Or, or so when he's there, what flag, what flag it will do be his have? own personal, what we call the royal standard, which is their own personal flag. And with what their does own that coat, look like? Their own coat of arms on it. Okay. Um, and funny enough, that the King Charles was in residence uh, Wednesday and yesterday. Wow, that is beautiful. Babe. I so want to go there. So he must, he must, he must. Have when when we have to change it. Well, All right, guys, we're here at the Buckingham Palace. We are at the gates of Buckingham Palace. These are the main gates right here. What I saw? What is it? This is the Shakespeare Theater right here. The original. There for 400 over 400 years, traffic going in and out. Yeah, right. no, and it has traffic. like four, like a full city. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you had um, occupied right. um, residences. You had sh stop shops on there. You even had a church on there, which still exists. Um, then they moved to the uh, sort of where London mm -hmm. Bridge originally was, to where it currently is, and we build a more modern. Bridge. It started to the foundation started to shift in the riverbed, and it started to crack. Oh wow. So we build a new bridge and we sell the other London Bridge for a million pounds. Yeah, to you guys. <laughs> to the Americans. Yeah, the Americans bought it. Right. And it now stands over Arizona. Oh wow. Over Lake Havasu. 
So the, the new, the London Bridge that we see today, which is... This. of architecture on the Abbey. You've got the back mm -hmm. and you've got this side with what we call the flying buttresses which are the supports um, holding up to so stop it falling down etc. And then we situation. look back at the front entrance this is where they and get you've married. got these two big white towers. Maria you think? You know, a bit more money. She came out and was put in a hearse. Right. <laughs> This is the back part of Westminster Abbey. And then this is Parliament right here. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Look at these buildings. All right, guys, so we're done with the taxi tour. Who, who can they call if they want to get a tour just like this? Craig, call Craig of Black Craig. Cab Heritage Tours. Craig See you soon, there. guys. We have the taxi drop us off here at Steak and Company. Really good restaurant. Great reviews. Alright guys, so after dinner we went to the room real quick to pick up the strollers and now we're here at Milk Train. Milk Train is one of the nicest sweets places that you can get sweets here in London. It's not a far walk from the room either. I'll be honest with y'all, that milk train was way, way overrated. It was not all that. But then again, I'm a big fan of Hagen Dazs, and Hagen Dazs is hard to beat, right? So, it was all right, the kids liked it. But now we're gonna walk real quick to a grocery store, get some kids some chips and stuff for the room. We're gonna pretty much call it a night today. We've done a lot. We wanna wake up early and do a bunch of stuff tomorrow, so. It's like, what street is it, is it in New York, Broadway? It looks like Broadway. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is day three. This is our last day because tomorrow we leave about midday. I had told them, hey guys, you got um, a nice bucket so I can put my kids milk away and you know, it stays cold. They're like, oh, you already have a mini bar. I'm like, where? And I didn't know this shit opens. It's another, you know, gloomy day here in London. Not as bad as the first day we got here where we couldn't even see the top of the shard. But, yeah. That's another day. We see the, the eye from here. We got a great view, really, of most of the cool things here in London. See, we could almost, well, if it wasn't for that building right there, you could see Big Ben. All right, guys. I'm going to show you guys here in London how easy it is to call a taxi. You do it many different ways. But you just want to make sure they see you, so why? Watch when the taxi doesn't stop. Oh, would you look at that? Oh. That's how you do it. I'm going to the same park. Yes, happy bell. All right, guys, we're here. Yeah. We're going to go inside. Hopefully, the little recording there. something steps to the top of the gallery. I guess here I gotta make a left. I can barely fit through these. 
little corridors. This is ancient here, guys. All right, guys. Excuse me being out of breath, but that was a lot of stairs. But it's well worth it. It's the best view in the city right here. All right, guys, this is one of the oldest bars here in London. It's called the Hung, Drawn, and Quartered because back then when the king would order somebody hung, they would hung you, they would hang you, I'm sorry. Then they would draw you, which is where they tie you to the back of a horse and drag you through the whole city for everybody to see. And then you would get quartered, which would be cut into four pieces. So that would make sure that you would go to hell for, in their logic, of course. And then here, right in front of us here, we have the oldest church in all of London right here. This guy right here. The Hollows. Oldest church in the city. Right. You know how many people have died there? Died? Yeah. They were hanging. They were hanging right over here, right across the street. Remember he passed by the store guy and told us? He was walking there. Baby, you don't want to walk in where they used to hang people? Hell no. Why not? Because I believe in spirits. I don't want no spirits haunting me. <laughs> they're not going to haunt anybody. You don't know that? Then they go back home and they're like, Oh, why are we living through a fire? You're so silly. I'm kidding. I'm going to go in there. Do not. That, that is what love is. Right in there, guys. Look. My wife is not letting me go in there, but when you see those little things on the floor straight ahead, that's where they used to hang the people. Look, she don't even want to stop. Scary cat. Look at the current, guys. The current here is no joke. Say so if you fall in there, hypothermia gets you in about 10 minutes. And uh, in about 25 minutes, you're all the way downstream. Hey. Look, earlier we could see the tip of the shard, now we can't. No, it's not. Sure. Let's cross it first. <laughs> yes. Oh, you can check out Burrow Market. I guess we're right here at the end. We go down. I guess we'll go eat. Yeah, see? Beautiful. All right, guys, this is the entrance to the Barrel Market.
So in America, we got TJ Maxx. Here's TK Maxx. I've heard about this concept, but I had never seen it. I got the Amazon Fresh stores here. Basically, you walk in, you activate your Amazon account, and whatever you take out, you don't have to pay for it. It's already going to know what you took, and it charges you directly to your account. It's pretty cool. I don't know how the hell my wife gets me to take her to these places. No matter where the hell we're at. In London out of all places. But this mall is just like any other big mall in the United States, really. I think the prices are a little bit better though. Which is not a good thing for me. Alright guys, we left the mall. Now we're walking around buying some souvenirs, things like that, because tomorrow we're leaving. Crazy how many people there's out here today. So they close all the business stores in America, but they have one here, like Walsh. Yep. They gotta keep getting people to come over here, so they gotta leave the store. So, so people who want to go to Orlando. All right, guys. So we're done shopping here in London. Now we're gonna get a taxi back to the room. And we're basically gonna call it a day. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning, we gotta head to the airport, so it's pretty much our last day. All right, guys, so we're here leaving the Me London. It's been awesome. We're gonna take a taxi to the London Bridge Station because that's where we're going to take a tram all the way to Gatwick Airport and I leave it out of the same airport we came out of to go to the next city so it's going to be a little bit of different I've never traveled like that I've always taken you know, taxis to and from but it's going to be interesting excuse me going that way to the airport and I'm going to bring you guys along the whole way I'm excited to go to this next stop so here we go Alrighty guys, so I couldn't really record the hustle and bustle because getting on the train I had to get the ticket to make sure I wasn't late with the kids, the suitcases, but we're here, we're on the train. The train was about 20 pounds to the airport where if I would have taken a taxi it would have been 140 pounds and it would have taken me an hour instead of just 30 minutes on this train. This is how the public transportation here works. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to end today's video. On the next video, we end up going to Amsterdam. And I'm going to take you guys along the same way I did in London. And it's going to be awesome. Also, guys, on April 1st, I'm hosting a huge event at Isla Morada Sandbar. And we'd love to see you guys out there. Catch you on the next video.